Good evening, Carlos. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm doing well, and you? Oh, very good. Okay, nice. Very, very good today. Um, finished right. work, work paper auditoria. Um, I'm happy for a finished class, the English, like the English class. Yes. Or, or English class. The English class. You're fine. The English class today at, at night. Uh, it's nice to meet you, Miss Lily. Nice to meet you too. It was a pleasure to be with this group. It was very nice. Okay. And hopefully we will find each other um, in some other courses, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> we, we never know. Um, so, yeah. Okay, teacher. So you finished with everything in the platform, right? Yes, teacher. Uh, um, okay. Diplom um, certificado también, ya, pero salían dos páginas. Okay, y lo reportó a Jonathan. Que les pasé yo por ahí el contacto. Vi, vi, uh, vi, su, vi su mensaje, pero no, no, no reporté. Eh, quizás voy, voy a escribirles porque eh, sí. ahora sí no lo hice. Ok, pero sí debería de consultarlo mañana o incluso la próxima semana creo que le atienden aún. Así que sí debería okay. de consultar porque debería aparecer el, el certificado en una sola hoja. Sí, de hecho, los dos anteriores así sí me aparecieron en una hoja. Es decir, ¿verdad? cuando los daba a imprimir, ya aparecía acá bien. Pero Ajá. ahora, cuando lo descargo en PDF, aparece la primera parte y luego las firmas aparecen en la siguiente en parte. En la otra, sí. Uh -huh. Y sí, debería de consultar ahí con Jonathan a ver qué solución le ofrecen. Y también uno de los compañeros en el otro grupo comentaba que, que eh, al imprimir puede modificar los márgenes. Al darle ah, un sí, más a los sí, márgenes. Como, como, ajá. Sí, también. eso también puede arreglarlo. Ahí ustedes. No, lo importante ver. es que está el diploma. ¿verdad? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Ok, teacher. Very good. Good evening, Janet. Hi, teacher. How's it going? All good, teacher. And you? Pretty well. It's nice to hear this. Thank you. So how was how was your day, Janet? Very boring, teacher. And your day? Well, it was okay. Um, well, today I didn't have much to do, just um, to prepare some classes, and that was it. So yeah. This normal day. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this week okay. hasn't been very hard because uh, we had the, uh, well, we don't have any classes or meetings or anything at, at the school. So yeah, it's been quiet. Yes, only the, this class. Exactly, only this one. Yeah, okay. Yes. Good evening, Tamara. Uh, good, good evening, Chair. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Good. <laughs> Very nice. nice. Okay. Yes. So, how was your day? And normal. <laughs> normal. Okay. It's, it's tranquil. Tranquilo. Como es? It's quiet. Quiet. Mm -hmm. Quiet and so. Okay. But quiet and. Mm -hmm. Nice. So, did you have to work today? Tamara? Um, no. Uh, work? Oh. oh. No, no. Today I don't. I don't work. Okay. That's <laughs> nice. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so how about, uh, well, tell me. Um, usted, usted, uh, bueno, una pregunta, mejor dicho. Eh, uh -huh. los, el siguiente módulo, eso no saben ustedes si lo dan, ¿verdad? Usted, si con lo, o sea, no le dan seguimiento a los grupos, ¿verdad? No que los cambien siempre de teacher, ¿verdad? Porque yo he tenido tres, uh -huh. dos, tres teachers distintos. 
Sí, en realidad no, no lo sé. Este es el primer nivel que yo trabajo acá con inglés corporativo, mm, entonces en realidad okay. no lo sé. Podría darse Ajá. el caso, creo yo, que de repente repitan teacher, pero no sé realmente ahí cómo lo manejan. Sí, porque como yo estoy desde el módulo 1, es decir, ese sería, okay. pasaría pre-intermedio, ¿eh? módulo 4. Yes. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Pero sí, lo que veo que nos cambian de teacher, me imagino que quizás es la modalidad para que conozcamos a todos los teachers, quizás. ¿verdad? Exacto. Sí, uh -huh. es bastante conveniente incluso para que se adapten a distintos acentos, sí. incluso, y todo Exacto. eso. Exacto, de hecho, los tres teachers distintos, pero <risa> muy buenos, muy buenos. Oh, bueno. thanks. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, gracias, teacher. Good evening, Selena. Good evening, teacher. How's it going? Fine, teacher. Solamente que no podía entrar. Really, you had trouble. A, a la clase. Oh, what happened? Sí. Was it the internet? Mm, pues no, no sé qué pasaba. Okay. All right, so I'm glad you're here. Sí. Okay, so guys, do you have any doubts or any questions about what we are studying? Eh, teacher, y con lo del, eh, del certificado lo van a arreglar después o ya lo arreglaron? Con lo que salen dos páginas. Ajá, uh -huh, sí. Eh, sí, no, sé si reportó, no sé si reportó a Jonathan, ¿usted? No, no lo reporté. Ah, ok. Entonces tal vez mañana puede escribirle para que él le diga ahí cómo vamos a, a resolverlo. Oh, ok. Sí, por ahí yo les compartí el contacto el día de ayer. Ahí está en el grupo. Ah, oh, ok. So any other questions or doubts? Not really. So how are you doing with the past? Guys? Yo digo que no. Okay, so it's all clear. Sí, yes. teacher. Great. Okay, yeah, so, um, well, you only need to keep on practicing, right? So keep on practicing, try to do exercises, try to listen to music in English, and understand it, of course. Try to watch movies verbs, or videos. The study the verbs, yes, sí, that's very important. Verbos. Yes. Es en, yo lo único, he sentido un poquito difícil eso de, de paz, de simples paz eh, con... ¿Cuándo es que le voy a ¿Cuándo es contestar con ED o cuando oh, cuando es eh, eh, ¿cómo se llama? En, en presente o en pasado? Eso es un, un poquito me confunde. Ajá, sí, ahí cuando, recordar. Como por los verbos. Uh -huh. Sí, ahí recordar. Pero también, que... pero también, oh, perdón, teacher, eh, también vi cuál, lo, lo, la información que usted nos envió en la foto. Está muy bien porque ahí se explica casi que bien detalladito. Es de estudiar, así como usted dice, practica, practice, exactly. listen. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's right. Sí, okay. y recordar que en el simple past lo que cambiamos es el afirmativo. Las oraciones afirmativas son las que se cambian. En el negativo siempre utilizamos el did not o didn't y entonces el verbo va en, en el base form, ¿verdad? En presente y también uh -huh. en las preguntas. Pues eso, recuerden siempre que lo que va a cambiar es el afirmativo. Ok. Okay. okay, teacher. Good Thanks. evening, Gabriela. Good evening. How are you? Fine, fine, thanks. Excellent. Hi, Gerardo, good evening. Hi, teacher, good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? Great. I'm doing well, thanks. Okay, so I think we're ready to start. So let's do it. So this is our last class. Welcome everybody.
And well, we are going to start by reviewing what we studied yesterday. We studied the past of was, the past of be, which is was and where. And in the negative, it is. What is it? Wasn't, wasn't, weren't. Wasn't and weren't. Okay. And how about the questions? What do I do in the questions? Any ideas? So remember that in order to make the questions, we change the order of the elements in the sentence, right? So normally, oh, the in the, exactly, you change the order. So normally in the sentences, you have the subject at, at the first place, right? So you start with the subject, then the verb. But in the case of questions, we have the verb first and then the subject, right? So here I have some words and phrases in order to make some affirmative negative sentences and some questions. It's similar to what we did yesterday. So here, first of all, we have she, then hungry, and the affirmative um, sign. So we say she was hungry. Hungry. Then we have thirsty. That is for the negative sentence. She wasn't, she wasn't thirsty. thirsty. Wasn't thirsty. And then can you make a sentence? I mean, a question with the word tired. Was she tired? Excellent. Was she tired? And the answers can be? Um, was she tired? Yes, that's the question. And the answers? Yes, she was. Mm -hmm. oh. Or yes, she wasn't. Yes, she was or no, she or wasn't. No. Okay, that's how you do it. How about this one, Gerardo? Go ahead, please. Make the sentences and the question. They was rainy. Where? Pardon. They were were oh, rainy. Sorry. Hey. Uh, here I have to change it to it. Yes, I made a mistake here. So let me just change it. So sorry, Gerardo. Use it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it should be with it because we're talking about the weather. Okay. It. There you are. It was, was rainy. Mm -hmm. Negative. It, it wasn't sunny. And the question? Was it cold? Exactly. Excellent. Thank you, Gerardo. Next one, Carlos. Um, my mom. Uh, my mom. My mom was bedroom. In the bedroom or in her bedroom. In, okay. uh, my mom in the bedroom. All right. Uh, my mom was in living room. In living room. In the living room. Very good. Now the question. Uh, was my mom kitchen? Was my mom in the kitchen once again? In the kitchen. My mom, my was my mom in the kitchen. Very good. Okay. okay. Pretty well. And the next one is for Tamara. Hey, I'll say like you Okay. Okay, start. Johnny was in Mexico? In, in Mexico? On, or on? In, in Mexico. On Mexico, okay. In, in Mexico. Uh, Johnny was in Mexico? Uh, Johnny was in Mex in Brussels? 
Uh, was Johnny in Australia? Very well. Thank you, Tamara. Just uh, for the pronunciation, we say Mexico, Brazil, and Australia. Okay. Repeat, please. Mexico. 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 Brazil. 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 It's not Brazil, as in Spanish. Brazil, right? Brazil. 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 And Australia. 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 Okay, pretty well. Now the next one is for Selena. Selena, can you help the me man, with the sentences? He, uh, the man, the man was very tall. Uh, the man wasn't. Oh, va llevar is teacher. No, wasn't is fine. Over. Mm -hmm. Ah, bye. Entonces, the man was in shirt. Y sería, was the man young? Excellent. Was the man young? Exactly. It goes like that. Was the man young? Thank you. Next one, Gabriela. Give it a try, please. The cars was a street. Um, the cars was or were? Cars. It's plural. Where? Exactly. The cars were. Continue. The cars were a street. On the street. On the street. The cars were on the street. Great. The cars were on the garage. In the garage, in this case. The other is where the cars on my house. In my house. Okay. Excellent, Gabriela. Thank you. So just for you to know it, we say on the street. Then for these places, garage in my house, we use in. In the garage, in my house. Okay, next one is for Janet. Okay. We was ill. We was or were, Janet? Was, I were. Mm -hmm. We were ill. And um, we wasn't very well. We wasn't or weren't? Weren't. Okay. We weren't very well. Um, weren't. We, I don't know, teacher, sorry. Were we worried? Okay. okay. So it goes like we were ill. We weren't very well. And where we were. Thank you, Janet. Pretty good. Next one, Veronica. Veronica, can you give it a try, please? Okay. Susan, Susan. Um, um, can you see the one I Cervantes. have here, Cervantes? Cervantes. Yes. No. You don't see it. No, I don't know. Um, no sé si está viendo lo que estoy compartiendo, Verónica. Sí, sí, sí. Ah, ok. Entonces debe utilizar estas palabras, las que están en blanco, para hacer oraciones. La primera palabra es para hacer una oración afirmativa, usando was or were. La segunda para la oración negativa, 
Y la tercera sería para la pregunta. For example, Cervantes was a writer. La negativa sería... Hey, I had some trouble with the internet for a couple of seconds. I didn't have connection. So um, let's see, Veronica. So we're in this part. So the affirmative sentence would be Cervantes was a writer. The negative one. Oh. Yeah. Veronica is gone too. So anyways. Cervantes wasn't a singer, it would be. And the last one would be, was Cervantes a musician? Okay, do you have any questions about the vocabulary you see here? Everything's clear? Yes, it's clear. Clear, teacher. Oh, teacher, uh, and then uh, penultima, we will Oh, ill. Ill. Yeah, oh, ill. Ill, ill is a synonym to sick. I feel sick, I feel ill. Or oh, I am sick, I am sick. ill. Um, no, it's a synonym to oh, como... sick. Sick. Sick, like, en, como enfermo. 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 Exactly. Oh. Yep. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's continue. Mm. Now we are going to review a little bit about how to say large numbers. So in a previous class, we talked a little bit about it. Let's just remember and practice a little bit. So we are going to start by reviewing the numbers um, from 10 to 100. So we have 10, then 20, 30, 20, 30, 40, 40, 50, 40, 50, 60, 60, 60, 60, 70, 70, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, one thousand. One thousand. Okay, and then you know what happens in the middle of this, right? So you know the numbers from one to nineteen. One, two, three, then eleven, twelve, thirteen, and so on. Then we have the others like twenty-one, twenty-two. The same happens with the thirty, thirty-five, thirty-six. You only add the other numbers, right? The numbers from one to ten, we only add them like 67, 88, 94, just add the other numbers and that would be it. And then, well, with the hundreds, you just change the first number. Like if we had the number 200, we say 200. 200. Yes, then you keep on going 300, 400, 500 and so on. Yes. So you just change the number and then you add the hundred, okay? Mm -hmm. And the same happens yes. with the thousands. One thousand, thousand. two thousands, two thousand, thousands, three thousand. and so on. Exactly. Okay, so that is regarding the numbers and then how to read the large numbers. Well, there are two ways I told you last time. The first one is to divide the numbers into numbers of two digits, right? So I have four numbers. For example, when we talk about years, we have we normally have four numbers. So we divide them into two numbers of two digits. And the second option we have is to mention the thousands, then the hundreds, and at last the tens. Also, another thing to keep in mind is that when a number ends in 01 or 09, we pronounce the O or the, or the zero as O, right? So we should say 01, 02, 03, 04, 05 until we get to 09. 
Is bad is zero? Yes. Esa sería una forma de decir eh, cero también. Mm -hmm. El cero puede ser okay. zero or O. Oh. En el caso de las fechas, oh, sí. lo tratamos como O. Oh. Ok. También en números de teléfono se utiliza como O. Oh. Oh. All right, so here I have some examples. The first one is this number, and we could read it as 1987, right? We need two, two numbers, 19, then 87, 1987. And the other way to read it would be 1,000. Exactly. 987. Very good. Next example, help me to read it, please. 1694, mm -hmm. 1,694. Excellent. And the next one is? 1905. 1905. Exactly. So you see here we say 1905. 19. O oh, five. So oh, five. um, let's One try thousand. to practice by saying some of these numbers. So this one would be no. 54. 54. <laughs> 54. 54, okay. 1754. Or the long way would be? Oh, 1754. Yes. Great. 1754. Okay. Another number. Let me see. How about we put it like? Mm-hmm. Seven hundred. 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 Seven thousand nine hundred forty five. Great. Okay, and the other way would be Janet. Can you give it a try? The la, la, manera larga. Um, no, you divide it into two numbers. Mm. Que le dé un número, ¿verdad? No, que lo lea, pero dividiéndolo en dos números. Ah, ok, perdón. Este, okay. um, 79, uh -huh. 40, 45. Great, 79, 45. Very good. Now let's try this one. How will you read that one, Tamara? Eh, ¿Cómo dijo que se decía solo con cero? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Seven thousand eighteen oh four. Yes. Very good, Tamara. And the other way, Carlos, can you give it a try? Sorry, microphone off. Oh. Hi. So the long way would be? Okay. Uh, 1,000. Mm -hmm. 880. Uh, 1,800. Yes. 
04. Exactly. Ahorita ya va um, oh, a yeah. Again, I had a, I had some trouble with the connection. So sorry about that. Um, so let's see. Um, now we are going to practice by saying when we were born, okay? So the question is, when were you born? And the answers could be, I was born in 1993. Or if you want to mention the whole date, then you say, I was born on November 17th, 1993. Okay, so let's see, Carlos, when were you born? Sorry, teacher, Microsoft. Oh. Uh, okay, uh, I was born um, September. September? I was born in uh, one, 1,000, oh. uh, 776. 1,700 or 900? Oh, mi fecha, eh, en cuando nací, en el yeah, año. Exactly. Yes, es 1,000, 7,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, it's okay. Well, Try again. One hundred. <laughs> one hundred and yes, nine hundred. One hundred nine thousand. One thousand. One thousand. One nine thousand seventy six. No. It's the other way around, Carlos. So it's one thousand nine hundred. Okay. Uh, White Thompson. Oh. Mm -hmm. One more time. White Thompson. Mm -hmm. Seventy six. 1,976. Uh, 1,976. Yes. All right. Or 1976. 1976. Okay. okay? 1976. So mm -hmm. remember, yes, we start by mentioning the thousand, then the hundreds, thousand. and then the tens. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Okay. Very good, Carlos. Mm -hmm. Gabriela, when were you born? Um, can you check your microphone, Gabriela? Uh, I was born in 25 October 1996. Okay, very good. Just remember we say... Um, October it was, Gabriela. Can you repeat the date, please? October. Mm -hmm. And the date is? 25th, I think. 26. 26. Sí. Okay, so you say no. October 25th. 25th, okay. October 25th. Remember you say the month first. Okay, pretty well. Thanks, Gabriela. Selena, when were you born? I was born in October. I was born on October 25th. Oh. Okay. Um, okay. El número no me acuerdo para el año, teacher. Oh, okay. That's fine. Yeah, one thousand. Mm -hmm. oh. Sí, teacher, mire, ahí quería preguntarle que nos ha puesto dos formas de respuesta. Yes. 
Entonces, so, la primera es solamente para decir el mes y en la segunda se puede decir el día y el año. Sí, la primera opción o, es cuando mencionamos únicamente el mes o el año. So, I was born oh. in November. I was born in 1993. And then the oh. other one is to give a complete answer, a complete date. So, I was born on November 17th, 1993. Okay? Okay. Sí. La segunda con on es para dar la fecha completa. La primera es para dar ya sea el año o el mes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Selena, okay. Um, what was the year when you were born? 25th, October 25th. In the year? Or oh. 1,900. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, 19, oh, 19, 19, 5. 1995. Like this? Oh. 1995. Yeah, 1995. Okay, 1995. 1995. Or it could be 1,995. Okay. All right, excellent, Selena, thanks. Gerardo, it's your turn. When were you born? I was born in June. Okay. 1993. 1, 93. Okay, nice. Janet. It's your turn. When were you born? Okay, maybe Janet is having trouble. So how about Tamara? I Oh, okay. I was born in April. All right. In the year? Uh, 2000. 2000, you were born in 2000. Okay, great. Yes. Thank you. Now, Tamara, when were you born? Uh, I was born in August 27. Okay. Uh, I was born on August 27. Um, Two thousand two. Two thousand two. Okay. Very good. Two thousand two, dos mil dos. Yes. Yep. Okay. Yes, or twenty oh two, you could say. All right. Oh, so okay. that's how we talk about the year when we were born. So now let's talk about uh well this new lesson objective. So by the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer WH questions with did, was, and where. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So let's start by listening to the conversation. Let's see, let me get it. So here we have it. I needed to listen to the conversation and pay attention to the vocabulary. And Let's get started by listening to a conversation title. Where did you grow up? Let's listen and practice. So Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990, I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. And I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... 
All right. So do you have any questions about the vocabulary or the pronunciation maybe? Goldish. Oh, uh, English. Um, which one? Uh, Chuck. Chuck, I was wondering. College. This one? Okay. Yes, so yes. that one is similar to university. College, university. Oh. Okay. Any other questions? Oh, eso lo que hace en la primera pregunta, teacher. The first one that says, so Chuck, where did you grow up? Did you, did you grow? Or no? Where did you grow up? Donde creciste? Exactly. Hmm. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Grow up. Go up. Yes, Go up. in Go the up. past, el pasado, en ese caso como es pregunta, está en presente el verbo, ¿verdad? Grow up. En el pasado mm -hmm. sería grew up. Grew. Grew up. Okay. Okay, any other question? Teacher, ¿y por qué abajo está con E? That's the past. I o donde up. responde. Yes. So es, that ese es el up. pasado. Mm -hmm. I grew up. So you see, the question goes mm. like, where did you grow up? Using the base form of the verb, right? Because we're using did. But then in the answer, we need to change it to mm. grow up. In the past. I grew up in Texas. Okay. All right, any other question? Is it all clear? So now it's time to practice the conversation. I just send it to the chat for you to have it in a clearer way. And I need two volunteers to read it. Do I have two volunteers over there? Any volunteers? Let's see Gerardo, I see you want. Yes? <laughs> okay, so Gerardo and how about Selena? <coughs> okay. All right, so Selena, you start. Oh. So, Shulk, where do you go out? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. Um, when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990, I went to college here. Oh, what's called your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why do you become a Harley Lee? Because I needed the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, oh. All right. Thank you, guys. So let's see. I need you to repeat Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. College. 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 Mayor. 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 Okay, then we have drama. 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 Interesting. 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 Okay, then we have hairstylist. 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 Okay, I think that's pretty much it. Any doubts that you have or any questions? No. Okay, so let's continue watching the video. Now it's going to explain a little bit about the WH questions and the answers. So let's check the examples. Now, let's analyze how to form questions with did, was, and where. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? 
I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. I would like to point out that the key to understanding this topic is to not get confused with the following question. When do I use did and when do I use was or where? You must remember the following. You will use was or where whenever you need to ask something related to the verb be. And you will use did for all the rest of the verbs in English. Now, let's... Okay, so as Mr. Sign, as Mr. Science explains in the video, it's very important to keep in mind that, um, well, we have two different kinds of questions there. Some of them take did, the auxiliary did, and some others go with was and where. So how do I know when to use did and when to use was and where? Well, you use was and where in the cases where you need the verb be, right? Cuando necesitamos el verb be, cuando estamos hablando de una pregunta que lleva eh, los verbos estuve, estuvo, or fue, or, well, ser y estar en el pasado, right? Then we use was and where. Cuando estamos hablando de una acción diferente a ser o estar, o sea, para todos los otros verbos que tenemos, utilizamos el auxiliar did. Yeah. All right, so I would like to start by remembering about the WH question words that we have. So we have the first one, which is what. What is to talk about things or to ask for things, right? Like what's your favorite color, right? I'm asking about the color. Or if we are talking in the past, uh, we could say um, like, what did you have for breakfast? What did you have for breakfast? And then you answer, I had some scrambled eggs. Then we have a second question word, which is where. Where is to ask about places. So where were you this morning? Where were you this morning? I was at work. I was at the hospital. I was in my office. Then we have when. When is to ask about time. So when did you go to the US? I went to the US in 1999. Then we have who. Who is for asking about people. So who was in the party? Who was in the party? So you could say like Mary, Anne, and John were in the party. Next one is why. Why is to, to ask about a reason. So why did you buy that? Why did you buy that? Because I need it. And this one, how, is to ask about manner, the way in which something is. And we use it together with different words, like how old, how old, for asking about age. How old were you in the year um, 2020 or 2008? Just whatever you want to use. And also you could use it together with much and many, how much, like how much water did you drink yesterday? How many, how many apples did you get? And another one is how long, how long did you wait? ¿Qué tanto esperaste? How long sería para preguntar como cuánto tiempo? Okay, any questions about any of the question words we have? Okay, so here, now how to make WH questions in the past? Well, the first structure we have is the one we did. We use the WH word, then did, then the subject, the verb, and the complement. 
For example, in the question, what did you buy at the mall? What did you buy at the mall? And what could be the answer? Any possible answers? What did you buy at the mall? Yes, I did. Uh, but I am asking you what, what? So you should mention what things you bought at the mall. So you say- I buy, uh, I buy, I buy, uh, I bought, but, mm -hmm. but, um, but, mm. A lot of things, let's say. I bought a lot of things. I bought some clothes. I bought some shoes. I bought some, what? Some food. Okay. So just remember this. The question goes with the auxiliary did and the verb in the base form. So it's in the present. But to answer, you change the verb to the past. Okay. okay? Past. All right, so another example would be, who did you visit mm -hmm. last night? Who did you visit last night? A possible answer? I visited, I visited my I visited. family. I visited my family. My family. Very well, so. Oh, my mom. I visited my mom, or you could also say I visited my grandma. I visited Amber and in in past teacher. Exactly. Yes. Okay. You change the verb to the past. Visited. Okay. Okay. Another example is when did you go to the supermarket? I went to I went. Mm -hmm. I went. I went to the supermarket. Um, I went to the supermarket. Yesterday. I went yesterday? at the morning. Okay, at night morning or in the morning. I went, I I went to the supermarket at night. Yes, it could be another option. Okay. So after the the questions with did, we have the questions with was and where. For those ones, we only need a WH word, then was or where, then the subject, and then the complement. Acá el único verbo que necesita es was o were, uno de los dos. Ya no utilizamos como acá un auxiliar y luego un verbo. Uh -uh. Here only was or were. Okay. For example, in the question, where were you born? Where were you born? What could be the answer? I born in... I... I, 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 I where or was? was I was, I was born, born in El Salvador. I was born uh -huh. in El Salvador. Yes. Or I was born in Santa Ana. I was born in Aguachapan. Just whatever it is you want to mention. Next one. How old were you in 1995? Possible answers. Guys, how old were you in 1995? What could be the answer? I was. I was. I was. I was five years old, for instance. 20. Five years old. Five years old. In 1995? ¿Cuántos años tenía en 1995? Esa pregunta, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, por ejemplo, podemos poner, yo tenía cinco años, right? Or, I was seven years old. I was, in my personal case, I was two years old. And so on, right? Okay, another question would be, how was the party? How was the party? It was fantastic. It was great, it's, it was boring, it wasn't good, okay? It was great. It was great. Mm -hmm. All right, so we only have a couple minutes, but let's continue. So, well, I had this 
questions to answer, but let's just skip them and let's move to this practice. We are going to make some WH questions by using these sentences. So here you see the sentence, they wanted to see Fiona. They wanted to see Fiona. And you see that the word Fiona is highlighted. So I want you to make a question that has this as an answer. Vamos a hacer la pregunta para poder responder con esta palabra, Fiona. Vamos a preguntar por eso. So, um, any ideas about how to make the question? Okay, les doy el primer ejemplo. They wanted to see Fiona. Who did they want to see? Who did they want to see? A quien querían ver? A quien querían ver? Who did they want to see? Fiona. Fiona, exactly. So they wanted to see Fiona. Entonces, estas serían las respuestas. Necesitamos formular la pregunta. So let's see. Here I have another one. It is, I got up at seven o'clock. What could be the question? When did... So in this case, we use what time? Continue, Janet. What time did? Did you? Get up. Get up, exactly. Excellent. What time did you get up? ¿A qué hora te levantaste? I got up at 7 o'clock. Me levanté a las 7 en punto. Okay, we have another one. It's she paid $10. What could be the question? How many, how many or how much, teacher? How much? In this case, we use how much. How much? How much? How much she did she pay? No. Did she pay? Very no, good, Selena. Paid. So we have how much did she pay? She paid pagó ella? ten dollars. Exactly. Cuánto pagó ella? Ella pagó diez dollars. Diez dollars. Okay. One more. That would be the meeting finished late. Any ideas? When? What? When? All right. In this case, again, we use what time? What, what time? When? 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 Oh, no. What? What time? What time? Did. What time did? Continue, please. Finish. The meeting the, the meet finish. finish. What time did the meeting finish, right? Okay, so any questions about this? No sé si tenemos dudas, alguna pregunta con respecto a esto. Ajá, ¿cómo estamos? No sé si, si tenemos al menos la idea de cómo hacer las preguntas. Ya no tenemos más tiempo para la práctica, pero bueno, al menos eh, logramos... Practice, practice, practice teacher. Yeah, practice, continue practicing, sí. please. Yeah. Okay, so just take a minute to tell you a little bit about the instructions in the final exam. So it's divided into six different parts. The first one is listening. And let me just open it. So just in case you have not done the final exam, well, just pay attention to the instructions. 
So the first part is listening. We have to listen to Helen and Mark's conversations and select the best answers to the questions. Escuchamos y vamos eh, respondiendo cada una de las preguntas. Acá ya tenemos las opciones. Solo marca la que corresponde. Una vez más, lo recomendado es escuchar el audio un máximo de tres veces. De ser posible eh, que sean solo dos, ¿verdad? Y de igual forma, les repito, como les dije la vez anterior, no es necesario que entendamos palabra por palabra o que vayamos traduciendo todo, sino que lo importante sería que logremos comprender lo que acá se nos pregunta. Then in section B, you have to complete the sentences. So it says, look at the map and complete the sentences. There you have a map of a city and you are going to select the correct preposition. We have, for example, the department store is Main Street and the options are across from, on, between, next to, on the corner of. So you just select the one that is correct. Next one, select the best answer. Here you have to um, read the questions. Where were your parents born in the US? And then you have different options to respond to that question. You have to select the one that is logical. Awesome. Next one is match the verbs to the nouns. So there yes, you sir. have to make some phrases as the ones we learned last time. Here you have the verb had, then had photos, a picnic, tennis, a play or swimming. You choose the correct option. And in section E, we have to complete the conversations. So here you have some options in order to complete the questions or the answers over here. And in the last part, you have to read the article and complete the sentences. Once again, it isn't necessary to understand each of the words, just read and try to get the answers to the questions. Okay, so that would be it. So thank you very much for your attention and it was really nice to be with you in this course. Congratulations to everyone for finishing the Principiante 3. Now you are in pre-intermediate. Okay. Yeah, okay. teacher. So thank pretty you, good. Teacher. Keep going. Keep going, okay? Thank Stay you, teacher. Adelante. Keep on practicing and yeah. Hope to see you soon. Okay, teacher. It's okay. nice to meet you. It's nice really. to meet you all too. Thank okay. you. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye.